Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. And in this video, we're going to be looking at adding new entries to our application. So when our users click on the Add button, it will add a new entry to our SharePoint data list. So if we go over to SharePoint, uh, you can see we have our employees list. So when a user adds a new entry, it will add it to this list. Let's go back to our application. And if we click on the Add button, you can see it's currently got a function for navigate to the edit screen. So we need to remove that and we need to say new form. And the form that we want to use is our employee form. And if we close the bracket off and we say semicolon and we say navigate. And we want to navigate to our edit screen and we will use the transition for cover. We've been using the transition cover in our application, but you could use a different transition uh, or leave it as none. Um, so this is the formula that we have over here. So new form, employee form, navigate, edit screen, and screen transition. So uh, we've used a similar formula in, in the previous video when we had our edit form. It's important to mention that we have a difference between a new form and an edit form. So we will be using the same form for our employees, uh, for editing our employees. And this form or each form that you add can either have an edit uh, uh, mode or a new mode. So if we look at our detail screen and we click on the edit icon, you can see over here we have an edit form. Whereas if we go back to our home screen and we click on our button, we can see over here we have a function for a new form. So that is basically it. Um, if we save that and we click on publish, we can test it. So um, let's go back to our application. You can press F5 or click on the play button and this will bring us to our home screen. And now if we click on the um, icon, this will navigate us to our employee uh, edit screen. And over here, we can add a title. So let's name this test. And we can give it a surname of uh, one. Uh, email address, test one at webby-solutions.com. And we can put in a department. So you can select a department. This is also coming from our SharePoint list. And we're going to say, uh, let's not say sales, let's say IT. And the position is tester. So notice over here, we don't have any entries for um, last modified or last modified date. Remember in the previous video, we set, we set this to be uh, hidden if uh, the form is in the new form mode. But if you're on the edit form, it will be displaying. So we can have an option here to click on cancel and this will navigate us back to our home screen or we can click on save. Let's first click on cancel and you can see this navigates us back. So if we click on add again and we put in the title there test and we put in the name of one and the email again, test one at webby-solutions.com and the department we will select as IT and the position will be tester. Now, if we click on save, it will redirect us back to our home page, but we can click on view employees and we can scroll all the way down or we could type in the search over here test. And we only have one employee with the name of test. If we select that employee, you can see it's displaying the employee's information. And if we edit the employee, you can see it's got the last modified uh, by. So the person who last modified this and the date that they last modified it. So I last modified it a few seconds ago. Also, if we go back to SharePoint and we click on refresh, and if we look through our list, it will probably be at the end. And here you can see the last entry we added was test, test one, uh, email address, test one at Webby Solutions. The department is IT and the position is tester. So that is how you can add a new employee to your um, application. And let's go back to our homepage. We, we use both the edit form and the new form provided by Power Automate uh, Forms. So 
In the next video, we will have a look at how we can delete this entry, but let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.